Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant here. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you HackerText from Red Giant Universe. HackerText has one function, which is to easily animate text from a source through random characters to a target text. HackerText has been a part of Universe since version 3.0, but in 3.3 we've added quite a few things, so I'd like to cover the entire plugin, but I'll also be stopping along the way to talk about what is new and what has been added. We apply HackerText to our clip by going to our effects and locating HackerText in the Universe Text section. And you'll want to apply this to a blank clip. I've done so by using a black video clip here in Adobe Premiere. A good place to start is by going to the presets and starting with a preset if you're not familiar with the plugin. Beyond that, where you're probably going to start is by clicking on Edit Text. And this is where you can edit your source and target text. You can also define things like your font, font size, horizontal tracking, and color. Note that Universe ships with a very large collection of open source fonts. And these are installed when you install Universe, unless you uncheck the box to not install them. But it also ships with a large number of monospace fonts, and I recommend that as you use hacker text, you try to stick to monospaced fonts because that's going to look the best. Now, when I change things in this window, like I change the color and I hit OK, the text settings that I change in that edit text dialog are going to be sent to the text settings here. If I make changes to the settings here and click on edit text, you'll also see them sent back over here. So the text settings are mirrored between your edit text window and the effect controls, with the exception of the font that you've chosen. Because fonts vary from machine to machine, the best way for that data to be stored is in any custom format stored within the text dialog. So you'll not find your font dialog in your effect control. Now talking more about the parameters, position is pretty straightforward. It's the position of your text. This does change based on how you have your justification set. So if you set this to a center justification, your position will now represent the center of your text. Below position, we have this animation group, and this is brand new to Universe 3.3. The old version of HackerText had a manual transition slider, so you would slide this from 0 to 100 using keyframes. In 3.3, we also added the ability for the text to animate on and off, and that's called the text wipe. This can wipe on randomly or in a linear left to right fashion. Now, being that we've got two different sets of things to animate, which is the transition as well as the text wipe, we figured why not make the whole process automatic so you don't have to set any keyframes. So if I set this to automatic and rewind to the beginning, we'll see that our text will animate on, it will scramble from the source to the target, and then it will animate off. And it does so using the settings that we've got here in the animation section. Note that the default setting of HackerText is to have this animation timing set to manual. This is a new feature here. So this new menu has to be set to a setting that is compatible with old projects. If we set the default to automatic, this would break old projects. So we don't want to do that. Note that most of the presets also use automatic animation. Now the different stages of animation are down here. You can enable or disable them using checkboxes. So if you don't want your text to animate out, you could go down here and uncheck text outro, and now the text will sit here forever. Or if you simply want it to animate out later, I could set this to a higher value. So we've got the text intro, which by default goes from zero to a half second relative to the clip that we're on. So even if I set this forward, this is still from zero to a half a second within the clip. It animates using the text transition from two to three seconds, and now this will animate at the nine second mark after sitting there. Now we've talked a little bit about the text settings, but the text settings group has a lot more stuff in here, and this specifically has all of the randomization controls that define how things animate. So when we start to scramble our text, in fact, I'm going to have this scramble a bit longer. Let's go in here and set this to scramble between two seconds and five seconds. So we have a nice long animation to look at. You'll notice that as it scrambles from the source to the target, it's actually kind of flowing or scrolling along the text. Now, it's not just the animation that's doing that, but the actual random characters are flowing left to right. 
And that's what this scroll is. A positive value will have the data kind of flow from left to right. If I set this to zero, this won't flow at all. They'll just stay in place. If I set this to a negative value, they will flow in the opposite direction. Now I skipped over the scroll behavior, and you're not going to use this too often if you are using automatic animation. Really what this relates to is if you are having your characters scroll, let's say we had this set to a value of 50 and it wasn't animating. So what this decides is does the scroll rely only on the passage of time or does it rely on your transition actually animating? So as this changes, the change in the text transition can drive the scrolling or we can have the passage of time drive the scrolling of the characters. The preserve spaces checkbox does just that. It preserves the spaces of your source content as it transitions from the source to the target. As with anything that has randomness, there's a random seed control in here just to change the overall randomness of what is going on with your transition. The flicker section is brand new to Hacker Text. If I enable this, and I hit play, we'll see certain characters start to flicker in terms of their size, opacity, and perhaps even their character content. All of those different components have checkboxes so that we can disable things like the character scale animating or the opacity animating. And perhaps we just want the flicker characters to come on so that it will randomly flicker the character content. If I have the flicker opacity enabled, I can vary the opacity control that it is using, as well as the scale control if it is scaling. Also in this randomization section is the random characters control. Let me back up and park on where we see the text scramble happening. In the previous version of Hacker Text, we could pick and choose what random characters we would like to be added to the random character pool. So we could have upper or upper and lower, or we could just have hexadecimal characters or random symbols. But in this version, we actually have a customizable set of text that we can add so we can put whatever characters we'd like in there and hit okay. And those will be added to the character pool. So let me uncheck the hexadecimal and the uppercase one. So now we just have those characters that I added to the custom character set. For adding numbers to our character pool, we can limit the range of numbers added right here. So if I set this to one, this will just be zero and one. And we can also limit the characters by setting this to a lower value and I turn on something like uppercase letters. If I set this to two, we should see A, B, and C, or the zero, one, and two character. If you see exclamation points like this, this means you have unchecked all of your random characters and you've left zero characters defined to fill your random character pool. And it pulls in an exclamation as that placeholder until you put something back in. Below that, we have an effects section where we have some very basic built-in effects, such as a glow. And I can turn up this glow intensity, the glow radius, and then an overall boost light for the glow. There's also a scan lines effect to make it feel like a computer terminal. And there's some basic controls in here to control the scan line thickness, spacing, and opacity. So that is Hacker Text from Red Giant Universe 3.3. My name is Harry Frank. Thank you so much for watching.